Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. And let's begin. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. And if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can have a look at one of my other readings. My readings are timeless. See what messages comes through today. In this reading, um, it shows here that this Divine Masculine had a sudden change. Sudden change of plans, sudden shift um, has to do with love. It shows here that this Divine Masculine is having second thoughts about um, something relating to the past and is thinking about wanting a new beginning. This Masculine is starting to see things very differently. Um, he's using his wisdom, what he's learned from his previous experience in, in a different connection and what he wants for the future. It's like looking, looking towards the future and recognizing what love is and what love isn't. It shows here that this Divine Masculine is um, showing a different type of emotion here. Um, trying to come across as someone who's very strong, a very tough exterior. Um, I feel like it's very stern, um, wanting to um, wanting to express themselves, but at the same time show how serious they are about the decision that they're making. I feel like they're doing this in front of somebody who's not listening. I feel like they're not willing to hear what Divine Masculine has to say. Um, this this looks like Divine Masculine with the sudden change of heart is, is coming coming towards somebody who's not happy to hear what Divine Masculine has to say. So Divine Masculine is standing very firm in their decision. It shows very like tough, uh, a tough exterior here. Um, there is kind of like this Masculine is not, not going to let anything um, distract or or I feel like not only distract, but um, prevent Divine Masculine from moving forward. It's like if somebody tries to show Divine Masculine some sort of emotion to make, um, I feel like to make him feel um, maybe guilty or feel sorry for somebody, this Masculine is remaining firm. It's like no matter what I see before me, no matter what I hear, I'm going to stick to my decision. This masculine, he is, he or she take as it resonates. It shows here that they are, they are aware that the decision that they're making now, it's kind of like standing up for not only what they, they feel or believe, but standing up for their dreams, what they desire in this lifetime. This masculine has recognized that some some connections had fallen away. It shows here something about masculine recognizing that he has missed opportunities with uh, trying to um, stay connected and close to family members, loved ones. Um, I feel like in this process, in the process or in the situation that this divine masculine was in with this person had created some sort of like what I feel is like, it's like um, the visualization I'm getting is like water parting ways. When Divine Masculine was with this individual, I, I feel it's a karmic situation, whoever this karmic person may be. 
family members, loved ones, people who were very close to Divine Masculine, it's kind of like it created a division. And it shows here that this Masculine has recognized that there were, there were times where Masculine could have stepped in and make things, I feel like, improve the situation or to help um, mend. It feels like help bring back but did not do that because of the, the situation that this masculine was in. And I feel like this masculine at that time did not have the strength, the full strength to do so because it, it looks like that his, his, um, his vision was blurred by the situation he was in with this karmic individual. His emotions was not, um, it was not balanced. It's like, his life, it shows here, the life, the feelings, emotions was focused on one person rather than seeing the entire picture of what the outcome or what the situation was, was how it was being created. Like that, did, that division, I feel that this Divine Masculine didn't really um, put in the effort to try to mend, try to bring back um, relationships, connections loved ones trying to reach out to somebody i feel like he remains still and this could also include not co communicating with divine feminine as well loved ones meaning family members friends also including divine feminine divine feminine in this reading it shows here divine feminine always had this connection in mind. Um, it's like always on the back of Divine Feminine's mind, but still remain to look forward. It's like continue to move forward, continue to do what was best for them, but always had Divine Masculine on the back of their mind. In some cases, the Divine Feminine may have felt burdened by that memory or burdened by the emotional. It feels like... Um, because it shows here that it was a strong attachment to the emotions and the, the memories of Divine Masculine that may have felt a bit of a burden for some Divine Feminines. It shows here that the emotions of the heart connected to Divine Masculine felt some sort of like tie, like a hold, hold over Divine Feminine. That's what Divine Feminine felt is showing here, feeling that they felt... They were being held in some sort of way, not being able to fully be free the way that they wanted to be. But this divine feminine continued to look forward. And I see here that by looking forward and, and putting self first, meaning self-love, taking care of self, nourishment, divine feminists started to slowly see things change, shift into, because the energy within divine feminine was changing and what is internal will show on the external what i see here is that divine feminists start to recognize blessings coming in into their life so things working out in their favor um, unexpected um, blessings coming in gifts um, good situations good people good opportunities and a lot of uh, unique wish fulfillments here starting off with a lot of i feel like a lot of a lot of smaller things and then it grew into something bigger. So this helped Divine Feminine uh, realize that putting it, the energy into self rather than putting that energy and focus onto the past or the energy connected to Divine Masculine. It's like they have recognized and accepted, yes, Divine Masculine is a part of this journey, but it's time for me to focus on me. And that's what this Divine Feminine did shows here that it was not easy for this divine feminine to shift into that that new energy but he or she did it they have created a new a new way of living and it feels like the energy of the divine feminine started to glow because it shows here as divine feminine as radiating and their appearance starting to change and i feel like what I mean by appearance is that others started to notice Divine Feminine even more. 
It's like Divine Feminine, you have always been unique. But the love and energy that you radiate because of the self-love that you have within, you started to draw more attention to yourself unknowingly, unconsciously. And I feel like it's just natural because the energy you put out there, it's like like attracts like, right? So I see here that it was not easy for you to come out of that, but you shifted into a more positive and, and it's, there's a lot of happiness here. Happiness, content, being, being grateful for where you are at now, at this point. You're more focused on the present. You see the present as the gift. And this new cycle, this new beginning, even though you don't really see what is up ahead, but you know that by being focused on the now is going to create something positive for the future by staying in that energy in the present. It's like you are bringing that energy forward, bringing it forward. Divine Feminine in this reading, you no longer feel stuck, meaning stuck by that memory, the past, um, feeling like constantly being held in some sort of way. That's not here. It shows here that there has been a release. You're tired, tired of anything that has to do with disloyalty, dishonesty, um, people who are not trustworthy, and anything that is of a lower vibration. I feel like you do not have energy to put energy into something like that. You rather save your energy for self. And it shows here that now when it comes to that sort of situation or that sort of energy, you feel that that is quite heavy and you don't want to be a part of that. It's kind of like I'm allergic to low vibrational energy. Like you stay away. You 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 prefer to be in your own in your own energy, in your own uh, way of being in balance and I see here, Divine Feminine, you are continuing to move forward on your path. You have a very clear, clear path, pure. It shows pure, good intentions. Um, your uniqueness and your purity, it is, it is something that is part of your, your essence, your well-being. Your, it's, it's something that is within you, that comes naturally. And I see here that there is Divine Masculine here in this reading up ahead where he will try to approach Divine Feminine when they are at their highest. And when I mean at their highest, it's like highest vibrational, the best version of yourself. And the external is going to reflect a lot of your internal, meaning that so much love that you have that you have built within yourself will start to reflect in your outer world that the divine masculine cannot see anything but it's like he can only see your greatness the magnitude of your divine love the purity the essence the true authentic divine feminine and that's when this divine masculine will be coming in it shows here that masculine We'll be doing a lot of inner work thinking. And in the meantime, Divine Feminine will continue to excel, grow in all aspects of their life. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of opportunities where Divine Feminine will feel like they are very lucky because they are very blessed. Anything that is out of balance will be in balance. Anything that was unfair. There will be justice. There's no place for unjust. And Divine Feminine is so strong in this reading that they will stand up for self if needed. They will speak up for self if needed. And I feel like they will speak up for others here because I see here that Divine Feminine has the power to speak on behalf of others and to also be a guidance or some sort of support for others. It has to do with Divine Feminine's mission work. Divine Masculine in this reading, when he is ready, when he sees Divine Feminine at their 
at their best, when they are shining, when they're shining quite bright, Divine Masculine cannot, he is drawn, he will be drawn to your light, Divine Feminine. He will come in with a solid offer that will take your connection, your relationship to the next level. It can be a proposal, can be marriage. I see a gift here. And this gift is, the intention for this gift is to restore the connection between you two. And what I see here in this reading, when Divine Masculine offers this gift to Divine Feminine, gives this offer, Divine Feminine will be thinking very, I feel like not only logically, but they will really think um, intuitively. They will seek for guidance before they make any decision. But they will look look at this offer very, very closely to see what is behind it, what is the intention, and if Divine Masculine is ready. But what I see here is that Divine Feminine, they will come to a conclusion where they will recognize that this Divine Masculine has transformed that this Divine Masculine is ready to make a new beginning, start a new life with Divine Feminine. And when these two reconnect, there's just blessing after blessing. Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, they will have balance within self, the energies within self first. First union is within self, right? And then union between the two, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. And they will start to build a new beginning, a new home, a new foundation. And it will be very busy, a very busy time for these two. These two will be doing a lot of, um, a lot of work. It shows here something about um, faith, um, something that is spiritual. And it could be also religious as well, because I see um, faith, religion, uh, God, connection to the divine these two are going to be doing a lot of stuff for others as well and there's a lot of um, clarity in what they do because once they come into union these two will be shown what they need to see at that moment I feel like they will give, be given pieces bits and pieces at a time when they are ready for certain information the information that they they receive at that time, whether it be by by dreams, downloads. They will take that information and and use it for the greater good for their mission work. It's like when one one step is done, whatever they are meant to do together, they will be guided to do another and then another. There is there is a lot of things that these two will be working on together. And it shows that it's just going to grow into one thing and then grow into another. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of progress. It's not, it's not just one thing that they will be focused on. They, their mission work involves multiple things. That's why I mentioned that these two will be very busy once these two come together in union. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. And thank you all for your comments. I love reading your messages. Thank you so much. And have a great day, everyone. Bye.